Alright, what's going on guys? Carmine back here again to bring you some more GOT news. This time it involves Ian McShane, House Tyrell, and the possibility of Jon Snow's return for a massive battle in the new season. First, let's start with Ian McShane, who many of us believe will be playing either Randall Tarly or one of the Greyjoy uncles. Turns out he won't be playing either of those roles. According to inside sources close to Watchers on the Wall, they say that McShane will play a character that interacts with a group of outlaws and has minimal screen time, but is of key importance. This may sound like the character Maribald from the books, but it could be a completely new person made just for the show. In the book, Maribald is a septon slash priest who guides Brienne of Tarth and her company around the Riverlands. Maybe instead of Brienne, it will be Jaime who is guided by him because in the book, Jaime does have a role to play in the Riverlands. Maybe McShane's character will help guide Jaime through that location so he can go to Winterfell. I say this because in Season 5, Peter tells Cersei of House Bolton's betrayal to the Crown, and maybe Cersei sends Jaime away to deal with them in the North. I also say this because it's been reported that David Bradley, who plays Walder Frey, will be appearing in Season 6. Maybe Jaime has a small scene with him to cross the twins. As for House Tyrell in the new season, it turns out they may be striking back at the Faith for imprisoning both Loras and Marjorie. Sources close to Watchers on the Wall say that when Mace returns to King's Landing, he is confronted by his mother Elena, and one of them orders soldiers into King's Landing. This is interesting because I do f we finally get to see Mace take control over a situation and kick some ass. He's been the butt of many jokes since his appearance in Season 4, and he's never been taken seriously. Hopefully this will mean that he's ready to show what he can do, but most likely it'll be Elena, his mother, to make a move against the Faith. In the books, after Cersei's walk of shame, her uncle Kevin takes over the small council, and is forced to ease House Tyrell's anger with some serious promises. So expect to see more of Mace Tyrell in Season 6. And last, we have Jon Snow's return to the show. Now, I'm sure you've seen multiple videos on how he is not dead and or is dead, but is going to be resurrected by Melisandre. Turns out that he is actually dead. In fact, President Obama called the showrunners and they confirmed to Obama that Jon is dead. However, he may not stay dead. Kid Harrington, who plays Jon Snow, has been spotted in Ireland multiple times, along with Ian Rion, who plays Ramsay. Sources close to Watchers on the Wall say that there will be a massive battle, and it will include several northern lords and wildlings. It sounds like they're filming the dreaded episode 9, and I seriously hope we finally get a confrontation between Jon Snow and Ramsay. I've always said that these two are like Batman and the Joker. My guess is that Jon Snow somehow survives the stabbings and rallies with the wildlings to take back Winterfell, along with the help of Rickon and some of House Stark's loyalists. For those of you who don't remember, in Season 5, we had the Lady of Bear Island reject Stannis, saying that she knows no other king but the one in the North, whose name is Stark. And before I end this video, be prepared for more flashback scenes, this time involving a young Ned Stark who has been cast, but more on that later. Tell me your thoughts on the matter. Do you think Ian McShane will be a brand new character for the show and may have interactions with Jaime? What about House Tyrell? Do you think Mace will man up and take charge? And Kit Harrington being spotted in Ireland, is he just taking in the sights or is his revival destined for a final showdown with House Bolton? If you'd like to read more up on these rumors, I will leave the link in the description below, and as always, thank you for watching, Baba Booey.